YouTube and welcome to lesson 2 of my HTML website creating. Now in lesson 1 we learnt the basics of HTML. This lesson we're going to learn how to center your text, change the color of your background and change the color and the font and the size of your text. Ok so let's get started. Now if everyone remembered when you created this website this, this line here was on the left and it was not centered. So we're, now we're going to center it. Centering is quite easy. All you need to do is use the center tag. So this text is now centered. Okay, so we're going to save that. We're going to refresh our website, and as you can see, the text is now centered. Okay, I've got that. What we're going to do is we're going to change the background. Change the background. You go into the body tag, and you type in bg color and then you equals quotation marks and then inside the quotation marks type in a simple color say um, blue now if we save that and refresh now I'm blue say we want our background to be black what we'll do is type in black save it now remember to save it every time before refresh otherwise nothing will happen now refresh now it's back only our text seems to have disappeared as you can see I need to highlight it to appear so now we have to change the color and font of the text and the size of it so it's pretty easy I can tag and type in font. Now this will do a lot to control the text such as face which will allow us to change the text style its, its default is New Roman so now we're going to change it to Arial. So now it's Arial now we want to change the size and then we want that to equal around 5 and then we want to change the color so let's just type in color again and equals quotation marks and now we can change the color so we're going to change it to white so now the color is going to equal white now like everything else every other tag or well most other tags not every other tag you need to end it so we're going to end our font now everything inside will be this so all this will be the color white it will be the size 5 and it will be Arial so now if we save and refresh now it changes to Arial and it changes to the color white and the size of 5 ok we're going to test it out by changing the size again to say 10 we're going to change the color to red. Okay. Okay, now let's save and refresh. Easy, let's change the size and the colour to red. Okay, this is the end of lesson two. Thank you for watching.